In this video, we'll cover the map of New York City, focusing on the main tourist attractions and where they're set, including the locations of main train stations and airports, and to offer you a sense of the distance in the Big Apple. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications, and share your own experience and recommendations or ask a question in the comments below. Let's explore! The most crowded and densely populated city in the US is divided into five boroughs. Manhattan, Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx. Manhattan is surrounded by the Hudson River on one side and the East River on the other. For orientation, let's start with Central Park and continue all the way to the south. Central Park, the most visited urban park in America and one of the world's most famous parks, ends with the Fifth Avenue on the east side. There, you'll find many luxury boutiques, flagship stores, and museums. If you continue south on 5th Avenue, you'll find the Museum of Modern Art, Rockefeller Center, famous for its Top of the Rock observation deck, and St. Patrick's Cathedral. From 5th Avenue, you can go west to the Theatre District, where Broadway theatres and Times Square are located. Or you can go east to the Grand Central Terminal, the world-famous train station, and to the nearby Chrysler Building. The impressive New York Public Library's main branch building is situated right next to the beautiful Bryant Park. On Manhattan's far west side, you will find the Vessel, one of the newest architectural marvels in New York City, located in Hudson Yards. Visit also an outdoor sky deck, the Edge. Nearby, you'll find the popular High Line, an elevated park and urban food court, as well as Chelsea Market, a famous New York City food hall. Don't skip Little Island across the street, an artificial island park opened in 2021. From Chelsea Market, let's go back to the Fifth Avenue, where the iconic triangular tower Flatiron stands next to Madison Square Park. And of course, we shouldn't forget about the Empire State Building. By the way, don't forget to watch our video on the top 10 things to do in New York City. The link is in the description. Let's continue. Lower Manhattan, also called Downtown Manhattan or Downtown New York, is home to the famous Soho neighborhood, where you'll find many artists' lofts, art galleries, as well as multiple extravagant shops. Two other interesting neighborhoods here are Little Italy and Chinatown. In the financial district, you will find the World Trade Center complex, which was rebuilt after the 9-11 terrorist attacks. The complex's main building is One World Trade Center, also known as the Freedom Tower. Just outside this skyscraper, there is the 9-11 Memorial and Museum and the Oculus, an impressive transportation hub. Further south of the financial district, you'll find Wall Street, home to the New York Stock Exchange and historical Seaport District. Let's continue to Brooklyn Bridge, crossing the East River and connecting Manhattan with Brooklyn and the popular Dumbo or Williamsburg neighborhood. The Statue of Liberty, a universal symbol of freedom and democracy, and Ellis Island, a former inspection station for over 12 million immigrants to the United States, are just a ferry ride away from the southern tip of Manhattan. For sports fans, a visit to Yankee Stadium in the Bronx is a must. Don't skip MetLife Stadium, home to New York Giants, located in New Jersey, City Field in Queens, Barclays Center in Brooklyn, and many others, also used for concerts and other events. If you love nature, there are plenty of green spots to discover, from several zoos and botanic gardens spread across New York City, to other impressive parks like Prospect Park in Brooklyn or Flushing Meadows Corona Park in Queens. If you visit New York City between May and October, don't skip Governor's Island. In the summertime, many locals visit Coney Island or Brighton Beach to relax and have fun. By the way, check out our mobile-friendly PDF travel guide that covers the top 20 things to do in the city, including maps, itinerary suggestions, opening hours, links to buy tickets, and other information. By purchasing our travel guide, you are also helping us sustain this channel, so a big thank you for that! Typically, you'll arrive in New York at one of the following airports. John F. Kennedy Airport, New York's largest airport located in Queens, Newark Liberty Airport in New Jersey, or LaGuardia Airport, which is in Queens and is mainly used for domestic flights. The two major train stations in New York City are Grand Central Terminal and Penn Station. Grand Central is in Midtown on the east side, while Penn Station is just below Midtown on the west side. 
many subways and bus lines serve both stations. To get a better sense of the distance, a 2.6 mile or 4.1 kilometer walk from one side of the Central Park to the other along Upper Fifth Avenue takes about 15 minutes. If you walk and take the metro, it takes about 20 minutes. Also, it takes about 1 hour and 15 minutes to walk from the Times Square to the 9-11 Memorial, or about 25 minutes if you walk and take the metro. And now continue to our next video on things to know before you visit New York City.